Disney fam. Welcome to this installment of our From the Vault Halloween series. Kelly and I often keep our topics a secret until showtime, and in this episode, we truly shock each other by discussing different versions of Haunted Mansion attractions. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so I've got Tomorrowland this week. <laughs> you sound excited about it. I am. <laughs> so I'm talking about Mystic Manor. Okay. Got any idea what Mystic Manor is? Not any. Okay. Zero. So <laughs> Mystic Manor is Hong Kong Disneyland's answer to the Haunted Mansion. Ah, okay. So it is it is Hong Kong Disneyland's Haunted Mansion. Okay. And I would love to see this one day. Lots of geopolitical drama going on in Hong Kong right now. Yeah. Plus nobody wants Americans coming there, so it's off the table. There's for, that. So there's for a that. Little while. <laughs> um, but um, but. I, this sounds like a really, really cool ride. Okay, so um, Mystic Manor is um, is not a haunted house because because nine hundred ninety nine haunt happy haunts doesn't really fit with Chinese culture. Okay, a lot of a lot of the, they wanted a, a haunted mansion type themed ride, right? But uh, a lot of Chinese people honor and worship and pray to their ancestors for blessings. <gasps> right. So yes. the idea of you know people who have died and now they scare you is doesn't work. Doesn't really work with the culture, right? So you know what? I'll give Disney props for actually trying to fit into the culture. That's, yeah. Oh. I know we keep bringing up Mulan, but that's not something they did with the original Mulan. Right. Well, they had some issues before with, um, like, I think it was Tokyo, maybe even Hong Kong, where it, they didn't do a good job of that, okay. and it really hurt. Oh, maybe it was it was uh, maybe Disney Paris when it okay. was Euro Disney. They, they didn't, didn't do a very good job of that, and they okay. may have learned their lessons, which would be great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, the Imagineers had to create a whole new story. Okay. Okay. And so Mystic Manor is the home of eccentric explorer and art collector Lord Henry Mystic. He's another member of this Society of Explorers and Adventurers, SEA, that you see scattered throughout oh, right. all Disney properties. Dr. Albert Falls of the Jungle Cruise is a, me- is a member of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. Okay. Jock Lindsay of Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar, right. etc. So Lord Henry is just another one of these worldwide members of SEA. Okay. His faithful companion is a monkey named Albert. Okay, so okay. Um, this is not just a home. This is a museum. Uh, it was. It's built to house Lord Henry's ever-growing a collection of artifacts from all over the world. And the latest entry into his museum is a beautiful, mysterious music box, which is said can make inanimate objects come to life with its magical musical dust. Ooh. Okay. Um, and now Lord Henry has opened his home to tourists. Okay, so that's where we come in, right? We're the tourists. We're, we come in to take a tour of the museum that is also okay. Lord Henry's home, okay? So the ride starts you out um, in a queue. You walk past uh, a lot of the artifacts that Lord Henry has collected over the years. He's got pictures on the walls that kind of set up the idea that Lord Henry and his companion, Albert, the monkey, have been all over the world. It shows these pictures of them everywhere. And a lot of times it sets the stage that Albert can be a little bit mischievous. Okay. okay. All right, he's, he's a little bit hard to handle. Okay. okay, he's cute as can be, and he's super lovable. But he can get into trouble. So then they cue us into a room, much like our Haunted Mansion, right? Uh-huh. But in this one, you're, you're treated to a bit of a slideshow. And you've, got, you've actually got Lord Henry... He's going to give you a slideshow, sort of kind of what we expect through the tour and whatnot. And, but of course, the slideshow goes sideways when, when little Albert gets the slide machine and it, you know, falls apart from there. Lord Henry says, okay, let's just go on to the tour, right? We go through another short queue and we get on, let's see what they call these things, the Mystic Magneto. Electric carriages, a wonder of the modern age. Wow. Okay. Okay. These are trackless 
so carriages. They're totally going for the track list. Totally going for the track list. It's got to be easier to maintain. Yeah. I mean, well, and you can you can mix things up. Well, and you can pull out a car that doesn't work with no problem. Right. So, and so just just like with the others, the, the other rides, Minnie and Mickey's, Mickey and Minnie's mm-hmm. Runaway Railway. Remy. Remy. Star Wars. Each ride, you might experience something a little bit different. Right. Because you're in a different car and right. you might go to a different room right. and that sort of thing. So yeah. that's sort of a big deal. So we get into the Mystic Magneto electric cart mm-hmm. carriage and we start riding through the museum. Okay? okay. The first room is full of artifacts and musical instruments. And we briefly see Lord Henry who opens up a door and he's calling for Albert. Lord Henry's clearly looking for Albert, his little monkey companion. Okay. Okay. This has a very figment vibe. A to little it. bit, a little bit, yeah. A little okay. bit. Okay. And so he shuts the door, he's, he's still looking for Albert, and then Albert pops up right behind this new music box. And Albert opens the music box. The room goes dark and you see the magic musical dust go everywhere. Okay. Right? And all everything in the room starts to come alive. All the musical instruments start to play music. Oh, see, that's cetera. fun. Super fun. Okay. Um, <laughs> so now the Imagineers start having a really good time because you start going through all the different rooms of the museum. Okay. And there's some definite throwbacks to things that we've seen before, like the lady's portrait that turns into Medusa. Yep. Right? There's this this mansion's version of the singing heads. Okay. You've got suits of armor that are singing. Okay. Um, speaking of singing, Danny Elfman did all the music for this. Okay. He wrote the music for The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, um, wow. That's Alice, fun. All the Alice in Wonderland new movies. Okay. Dumbo. Uh, he actually wrote the Simpsons theme song. Wow. He is the voice for all of the singer singing uh, helmets. Wow. In the suit of armor in this ride, yeah. There's like an Egyptian vase uh, with a man who's fighting a lion live on the vase. Okay. And the man on the vase jumps to avoid the lion, and you see his hands come out of the top of the vase. Oh, that's like, cool. Fun stuff like that. Um, the singing heads. Um, throughout it all, you see Albert. In every scene. Okay. And most of the time, he's barely escaping death himself, right? Okay. But he's working really hard throughout the entire ride to make it all stop, to put things back the way they were. Okay. Okay. And so they use some um, some video tricks like we saw in, in Mickey and Minnie's ride. Okay. They use animatronics. Right. They uh-huh. use 4D, kind of you feel things. Right. right? Zipping past your head and That's all that. Cool. It's a really, really cool ride. Um, and like I said, because it's trackless, every time you ride it, you might have a little bit of a different experience. And when did you say this opens? It's open. Oh, it's open. It's open. It's on my Tomorrowland because I want to do it one day. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, I want to do it one day. Yeah. So um, the look of, of all the Haunted Mansion type rides is, is kind of a big deal, right? They, right? they worked on the original Haunted Mansion for years, years. trying to get the, the look the way Walt wanted it. Right. Um, and the one in uh, Walt Disney World in Florida is obviously um, very classic. Uh-huh. This building is really cool looking. It's um, modeled after Carson Mansion in the Old Town section of Eureka, California. So you can look up Carson Mansion on Google. You'll right. see lots of great images. We'll try to see if we can get an image to put on the socials of Mystic Manor. Okay. But that Carson Mansion is a is a large Victorian. It's considered the most grand Victorian home in America. Wow! Right, and uh, you can totally see that. But this Mystic Manor is almost like a mashup of that building with Asian elements and even a little bit of St. Basil's Cathedral, the big, huge cathedral in Moscow in the Red Square that's got the like yeah. the bulb kind of right. tops on them. It's uh, it's. It's a wild looking. I want to see. I'm, I cannot even. Yeah. I cannot create that image in my head. I need it's, to see it. It's pretty crazy. Um, a few little Easter eggs in this ride is uh, there's a tribal arch room that features figures directly from the Enchanted Tiki Room at, at Disneyland and Walt Disney World. Um, let's see. There's a ribbon cutting ceremony picture early in the in the walking queue that if you look closely you can see a a, a little. Boy, Walt and Roy Disney in the crowd Aww. at the ribbon cutting for Mystic Manor. Um, and 
all of this is based on what was originally supposed to be a post-show experience after you get off of the Haunted Mansion, the original Haunted Mansion, and you walk through a museum of weird artifacts. How cool is so that? So all this was born from that original post-show experience that never Gosh, got done. Imagineers are brilliant. They're amazing. They are so brilliant. So that's my tomorrow. Night. Well, I just want to say before you, we've got a special world showcase. Okay. And before you push the button, I would just like to remind our listeners that we do not coordinate. So go ahead. <laughs> oh no! And push the button. <laughs> <laughs> this, is my, this is my world showcase. Oh. Neither of us had any idea. Hit it. Okay. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> push it up a little bit. I want to hear this intro music. My oh my gosh, I cannot believe. Can you really not? That we both went on and mentioned. Can you really yes, not? this week. I really, it's. it's <laughs> I almost saved it for October. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm feeling it. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> when you opened your mouth and said, this is Mystic Manor, it's the Haunted Mansion in Hong Kong. I was like, oh my gosh, if he goes through the Haunted Mansion at Walt Disney World to explain this, I could uh, have to reach across the street. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can pull it down a smidge. All right, so we're gonna. I'm gonna go a, a little bit of a different way here. So first of all, the Haunted Mansion is my number one favorite ride yeah, at sure Disney World. I don't miss it. Um, so I want you to know, I got a lot of this from the storyline was posted on wdwhints.com. They said that it is from a Keys to the Kingdom tour that they took in 2005. Okay. Now, they were very specific to say this is one of many interpretations of this ride, that there's a lot of different ones. But I like the one that they posted. I looked up some of the other ones. This was my favorite, so this is what we're going with. So, again, this is from WDWHints.com, um, and it's from Keys to the Kingdom Tour, which they said they were led by Corey in 2005. So, if you've watched the Haunted Mansion movie, you'll get a good grip for this. Um, the, uh, many years ago, Master Gracie and Emily were engaged, uh -huh. but Madame Leota was also in love with Master Gracie. Leota believed that if Emily were gone, Master Gracie would then fall in love with her and they could get married. On Master Gracie and Emily's wedding day, Leota killed Emily and put her body in a trunk and put the trunk in the attic of the mansion. <laughs> <laughs> well, Master Gracie was so distraught over Emily's death that he hung himself. Again, this as is... As you do. As you do. This is in the movie. Uh, by the way, we're not making light of suicide. This is... We're, we're just laughing at the idea from the ride. Um, Madame Leota was left to haunt the mansion after she presumably died of old age. So here is why it's my favorite ride. First of all, it's classic. It's a classic that's been reimagined, and I think they nailed it. Okay? I love the music. I sing along every time. <laughs> I created this little background mashup for this segment, and I specifically removed the words because I knew I would not be able to talk and not sing. <laughs> okay, it's creepy, but it's a fun creepy, right? Like, it's oh, a fun yeah. creepy vibe. I see something new every time, and the cast members are amazing, right? This deadpan oh, yeah. face. I think they're even better than Tower of Terror cast I, members. I agree. No right. more bodies. Right. They're awesome. Okay. So, fun facts. The ride is seven minutes and 30 seconds long. Again, we're talking about Haunted Mansion at Walt Disney World. Um, only 109 of the 999 happy haunts are Disney-created and audio animatronics. Oh. Doom buggies travel at about 1.4 miles per hour and can accommodate up to 3,200 guests per hour. Oh, my gosh believe that um the guy that wrote grim grinning ghost um javier atencio also wrote yoho a pirate's life for of me of course right, right? Yeah. just a brilliant brilliant person okay so let's get into the explanation of the ride and remembering this one came from www.hints.com this is just one explanation of many Okay, so when we step into the ride, the story has already taken place. We enter the haunted house um, years after Emily and Leota have died. Okay, uh, the ride is your story of entering the house, uh, becoming scared, trying to find a way out, but getting killed by Emily and becoming the 1000th ghost. Oh. I know, I've never put this together, okay? But this is your story. Okay, so the first thing to know is you become the 1000th one happy haunt within the mansion. The ride begins with you entering the haunted house after all three have died. 
As you enter, you think you see the pictures on the walls following you or changing in the first room. Then you walk into the stretching room and you're still not sure if your eyes are playing tricks on you or not. Suddenly the lights go out and when you look up, you see the hanging body of Master Gracie. Oh, that's Master Gracie. So I think it's interesting that you said that. Okay, so fun fact. When you go into the stretching room, I always go straight to the portrait of the girl on the tightrope with the umbrella. Uh-huh. Okay, so fun fact, that's where the door opens to lead you to the doom buggies. Sure. So I always head straight for the girl with the umbrella. So by the time the lights go out, I've turned my back and I'm ready to hit those doom buggies like it's my job. Sure. I've never seen Master what? Gracie. Come I'm not surprised by that, honestly. (laughs) I've never seen him. I am facing doom buggies, man. I'm ready to run. Gosh, Kelly. Get in the queue. You've never looked up. I've never looked up. You've never understood why all the screaming goes on. No, and in fact, when I saw that in the movie, I thought, well, that's a little dark for a Disney movie. (laughs) You should be in the room and look up to see the hanging body. Never looked up. Okay, so you are now scared. So you run to find a way out of the house. Right? That is where you board the doom buggy. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, you board the doom buggy, you run through the hallway in the library, and you enter a room in your doom buggy where you see Madame Leota calling up the ghost and the spirits Mm -hmm. to haunt the house and scare you away. This is where Madame Leota's face is in the glass ball. Right? So, she's inviting the ghost to come in the house and spook you out. You're, You're freaked out. Okay? She's awakened the ghost. After she awakens the ghost, the first thing you see is the ghost in the ballroom. Yep. Okay? So you're in the ballroom, and you're looking down on the ghost. Yes. The, those are the first real ghosts Ghost, that right. you see. Yep. You keep running, and you find yourself in the attic where you run into the ghost of Emily in a wedding dress with her heart beating. Yeah. This is creepy, creepy Emily now. When they up, when they updated this, they really spooked you out with Emily. Yes, okay? they did. So, you're in the attic with, um, with Emily in a wedding dress. Next to her is the trunk containing Emily's body. If you look closely, you'll see her wedding dress hanging out of the trunk. Emily is angry. She's restless. She strikes out at the first thing that she sees, which is you. Oh, my word. Emily pushes you out the window of the attic. That's when the doom buggy flips Flips around around. and you're going backwards. You're falling out of the window. This ride much scarier than I remember. Okay, so you're you're going you're going backwards like down a hill. If you look to the right, you'll see the broken attic window that you just fell out of. Oh, that's so cool. Unfortunately, you do not survive this fall. You are killed. And this is why the caretaker and his dog are shaking when they see you. Because you are now a ghost. And the ghosts in the graveyard are celebrating your death. Since you are a ghost now, the other ghosts appear more (laughs) solid to you. I'm enthralled by this. I know. Okay. So the ride ends with Madame Leota, that the freaky little baby doll in the the dress. Mm -hmm. They call her Little Leota. Okay. Little Leota. I've always called her the tiny bride. She's telling you to remember to bring your death Death certificate certificate. if you would like to return and retire at the mansion because we're dead we're ghosts you're dead we don't have to stay there but Mm -mm. you're dead and you're leaving but you could return and retire at the mansion if you would like um so that is i never knew any of this me either that's i'm now totally into when Emily pushes us out of the attic. I know. And we fall backwards. She, she's like in the new one. She's the one with the chopping the heads off of people, yeah. right? And she's had like four different husbands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they all, um, they all lose their heads as you drive past them. Yeah. That's she, creepy. Man, that ride is much creepier So now. I did not know that we were in the attic, right? I didn't get how we were moving through the house. But then we're in the attic. It's okay. Wild. So I don't so I've got some hidden Mickeys for you. Okay. Okay. So first of all, there's four in the ride that got put in there at the redo. Okay. So at the left end of the table in the ballroom scene, look closely at the plates. Okay, apparently the plates make a hidden Mickey. In the graveyard scene, there's a face of a small ghost off to the right. That's okay. a hidden Mickey. Uh, okay. Um, Emily with the beating heart. Look to the other side of her at the three pots hanging on a post. Okay. <laughs> and as you are exiting, there is a hidden Mickey next to the gate. Okay. Okay. So four hidden Mickeys. So the the dining room, 
Emily. There's a ghost, and as you exit, right near the gate. Yes. So, which of those things surprised you the most? What part of that story surprised I you? I don't the most? know. I I think the idea that like Emily has pushed us out of the window and we're falling backwards into the graveyard. I'm I think so that's excited the, about I know. that. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna and experience then, that ride totally different. Totally itself. different. And then the ghost in the graveyard are celebrating your death. I know that now. Now we know why they're so happy to see us. I know. We're so I've got a special little ending here for Tomorrowland this week. So let's let's punch up the volume here and take us out. Here, okay, little Leota. Okay, punch up the volume. That was definitely one of our favorite episodes. We hope you enjoyed it too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell and follow us on all the other socials at SCFADP. Last thing, check out our weekly podcast available every Monday morning, wherever you get your podcasts. That's all for now. But as always, see you real soon.